Hi everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in my new video. So today topic of discussion is Project Charter and I, I must tell this one to everyone because the Project Charter is a crucial template for every project manager who dealt with the project since inception till the end. So Project Charter, what is a Project Charter? Why it is so important and why sh we should learn about this? Because Project Charter is an essential document who provide the details such as project summary, where the project charter define overview of the project. Okay, it define what is the outline. Okay, with respect to the goal and what is the benefit of to the business after performing that particular project. Okay, scope. What is the scope of that particular project? Whether it is can we are we going to establish uh, in a limit okay specifies the what will include in that and what won't so assumption and exclusion defined in that one right objectives what are the objective like particular defined target milestones we can stay this list of the all stakeholders with an interest or in the project without interest is not considered such as a manager, team members, and the sponsors specifically. Role and responsibilities of every single person, what they're gonna identify their project accountability and their structure, okay? Define a specific budget with respect to the revenue and the margin and the cost distributed across the different disciplines, right? Schedule and the risk. This is only not the work of the project, man project manager, but whereas a project charter define more than that, such as they do provide the RACM, RACM matrix information, okay, such as who is responsible, okay, who is accountable, who is the performer, and who is informer in that one, right? So the authorization is very important one. Alignment is very important one, okay and the guidance is very important one so all these things are very crucial while working on this so let me take you to the particular document which i have created and from that you can understand how we can use this so you can go through the doc uh, through my website thoroughly okay and you can read whole document properly so you can see this is my website www.civilnotes.com let me just zoom in Okay, so this is my website, civilnotes.com. You can go and read, you can watch, okay, this videos also, and you can define how the project charter looks like. Okay, so company decide a go no go decision after finalizing this charter. So, project charter should consider the name of a project, okay, it should be prepared by some project manager and the internal company managers and the high level manager who is a direct even level okay and the PMO support you level so this project charter needs to be prepared from their end and it should be signed by all these respective people but this should be signed by the internal sponsors we can say that right so the project charter should consider the project name okay in respect of the revenue whatever the cost we have identified we should put the revenue the cost which defines what is a direct and what is the indirect cost that we are going to incur and from that we can identify what is the contribution in that one and the risk so based on these financial figures a project manager terms can identify whether can we go for this project or not so you, you can put go if you wanted to take this project out if you can put no go if you don't want to go for that one so project charter define whether the value additions the value value addition to the business if it is valued then company go for definitely go for that but if it doesn't seem any value with respect of the finances or irrespective of any value to that one business should take the reference of the project charter and then they should approach to the manager or to the company that whether they should take this project in or out now project charter considered the description of work as i said it define a problem what is the problem why we are doing the project okay so it consists with the details of work such as what is the start date what is the end date how much escalation that we are considering with respect to the time period of this project 
the major area of work whether it is in a construction area whether it is in a railway side of area or whatever the major area that your cost is involved in the resource requirement whether the resource requirement is on the higher side lower side or the moderate requirement then magnitude of work it is a severe work moderate work so every company is, has their own classification like just say that a 5 million project considered as a major one 1 million considered as a minor, uh, like moderate one and 0.5 million considered as a lower uh, magnitude of work right so you can define your own drop down functionality for this one which is quite easy right so you can see that if i just go here if i, I just say that 10 million 5 million and 0.5 million so i can just select all these things if i just go here i'll go here come or you can also just put the things no worries for that okay go to the data right then uh, after that go to data validation data validation go here click on a list and select this source and this is our source that you want these options into this figure now you can see you will get an option and you can select the magnitude over there okay irrespective of the severity yes the risk of severity it is a higher risk lower risk moderate risk that also you can define in the same way is it outsourcing of the resource requirement outsourcing of the sub vendor requirement that is also you can define from in your project charter so project charters give a brief scenario to you what are the challenges you might face what are the opportunity you're gonna f you gonna receive okay and how you are gonna perform okay irrespective of the your uh, like align with your life cycle of your project okay if i just take you to the next part of the project charter the milestones what milestone to be improved what is a business impact right so you need to inform write down every single thing right from their scope of work so client always provide you the scope of work what he is expecting and then on based on that you will be preparing all this situation like what scope should include it what scope you are as you are excluded and any impact on the milestones submissions while working on a project so you can input every single thing you, there the impact might be anything such as environmental impact such as external impact such as internal impact the company policies is the ethics and rules resources anything might be the problem so to achieve that one you need to write every single thing over there then stakeholder such as what are the stakeholders how they are gonna involve and how they're gonna affect okay such as the Parag he's a project manager he if he is not available for the project for a week time period the project will not get a financial status of work project will not get the deliverable status of work project might get delayed okay if the general manager if the project director is not there client satisfaction will not get involved client will not involved in the project any uh, in the regular meeting of time okay so this kind of the this kind of the issues might come if there is any sub consultant involved in this so what will happen if it is sub consultant at the, like if you study the pmp examination if you are preparing for the pmp examination you definitely look such as question like the uh, the vendor okay or the sub consultant decline at the end point of time and stating more money okay for the delivery of the work so what should project manager do right so the sub consultant is also a major stakeholder so in that time period project manager should understand his concern and and bring down him at a particular cost okay discuss the uh, financial impact with him and agreed on that point period so that is because we are not get our project get impacted that's why we always should consider the escalation percentage in our projects correct now you should also provide some communication uh, of progress or preferences such as the team's call nowadays is quite in the track also you can consider the different kind of the communication patterns so that is also one of the major resource that you can utilize if you come to the impact like voice of the customer okay here the all stakeholder requirement like how client is is the client happy is the client unhappy okay what is the expectation of the client what is client looking forward for that everything we should do and what is our values of the business whether the business if like while working on the scheme 
there is a working progress wip it is not mitigating it is not invoicing on a time basis so what will be impact so this is we need to understand at very initial stage before the start of the project that's why project charter become an integral and important tool for any business and it is value adding to them now if you just go move, move ahead with the more schedule so you can see you need to add the milestones like what is the start and end date is it involved in the plan design is there any quantification required what is the implementation method and how it is going to come in the comment is very simple risk in irrespective of risk and any other risk or any other impact you can write down here now you can see the resources what are the resources gonna use now you can see sir uh, you can see me like product there might be hundred of resources are working so you can take you can give an appendix over here refer appendix a and you can attach the appendix to the project charter stating that please refer the appendix a and the same columns you can prepare over there and you can define the importance of the resource irrespective of the deliverable the duration requirement in term of hours or the duration in term of may uh, sorry month what are the their cost involvement how reven how much revenue you are obtaining from their end so margin and the risk if someone like a principal engineer or the team leader left the left the business how is going to impact that project right now if i just take you to more down to the investment and cost section so you can see that irrespective of project is the for business involvement okay how this is going to involve the cost revenue percent margin risk and hit in the percentage that you need to define okay in similarly you can take it from the execution project management maintenance and closure so whatever you are going to prepare the revenue at the top that that you need to distribute this revenue you need to distribute over here okay over here and the cost and revenue so you need to distribute your whole revenue over here so management can understand okay for business improvement how much cost for project execution how much cost okay for governance how much project manager and project management are undertaking is the sustainable if there any sustainable improvement over there right now is there any like for the closeout how much you have considered for detail and what is the total detail cost that you are getting across now you can also define the how much cost that you are you are as a discount you are providing to the uh, client what is your higher revenue and what is your lower revenue your rate of interest your net present value and your internal rate of return you need to calculate over here so you can easily calculate equals to irr and you can get this function over here right it's in similar with the ro and npv you can calculate easily now after doing all these things if project manager is happy he should put his comment and he should sign here ceo should write his comment and if c is not happy he can comment for the revision and he can't sign and he and both can provide a come up to the decision whether they should go for the project or not so this is a comprehensive document which i have bring across to you all that provides a very detailed insight why the project charter is a crucial document for the project management since inception of the scheme so i hope you like this video please do subscribe my youtube channel pm learn this is my second youtube channel and i hope you will like and enjoy my more upcoming videos have a nice day bye bye